Hey folks, this is Nick from TheArcadeHunters.com. We're here at the satellite location of the Pinball Hall of Fame. This is actually located in the Riviera. If you saw the videos I shot last year, this is actually across the street from Circus Circus, which is heavily under construction. So this is some of the stuff that uh, Tim Arnold has, and uh, the guys from the Riviera said they wanted to have some stuff. And it's kind of great because uh, they can have different games here that uh, Pinball Hall of Fame uh, doesn't have like the uh, CSI over there and uh, the machines are in varying conditions uh, the Batman is uh, really really good I'm pretty sure they just uh, fixed it up CSI uh, unfortunately has a bit some problems the centrifuge um, doesn't work and uh, you can hear the sound is buzzing and for some reason you can only do one of the skull locks I don't know why so we're gonna take you show some of the go around part pardon the music super checked get a Williams uh, slug vest and I finally got the name of this one because you can never see um, the name of it so this is Williams Ho Midway's Hot Shot Basketball never see the uh, side art of that because of the uh, Pimble Hall of Fame is kind of stuck in you get uh, teed off with the uh, little gopher on the top you can see that they recently added in on uh, the Pinball Arcade uh, taxi unfortunately no uh, topper on it, but it was playing really good. The bell's friggin' loud. Uh, Vegas from Gottlieb. Freddy's Nightmare Before, uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare, not Nightmare Before Christmas. And you can see the problem with the uh, Freddy is, uh, the glove loves to break that you can actually flip the, uh, ball into the table. Over here, uh, there's none around here. You can actually see this is where the, um, the food court is. Let's see, 10 up from Gottlieb. He runs pretty much all the games are at 50 cents uh, for five ball games, or except for uh, like on the newer Stern style games, it's 75 cents for three. It's, it's got uh, two of these from uh, it's Spanish Eyes and Grandma, which have pretty much the same backlash, but uh, a bit different games. You can see here, it's got the little thing in the middle to do uh, the roller shots. I've played Spanish Eyes before. And Grandma does not have that. It's got the uh, three bank of targets. Williams Lucky Ace. Triple action. I'm pretty sure there's something something about triple action that I forget what the this game had that some other games didn't. Got Leaps Playmates, Ship Ahoy, and Bank Shot. Pretty nice. Using the uh, iPod camera, so I'm trying to be discreet. So, you know, Vegas, there's friggin' uh, security cameras everywhere. NBA, which is pretty much like a reskin and retooled uh, Space Jam, which he has at the other location. NBA Fast Break from uh, George Gomez. I uh, really, really like this game when you get to play the uh, two-player uh, module they have for it, where they set uh, two machines up together, and there's a link play to it. Uh, Cue Ball Wizard from Gali. So I have uh, Surf and Safari. Godly, another one of, I think, uh, 2600, uh, really likes that game. See, see how, uh, pretty much out of date because we can see, uh, LeBron here. He goes, talking about game, not talking about practice. And they have, yes, phones. Big surprise they have phones. Now let's look at the, some of his arcade games that he has set up. He's got, uh, Simpsons, kind of, uh, set in a widescreen. I have no idea why. Uh, Marvel Superheroes. It's like needs to uh, be cleaned. Uh, this is a Valley Midway Midnight Marauders. I've never seen this before. I wonder what year this is from. Defend your bases to survive. One of my favorites. You know it. You love it. Classic uh, Outrun from Sega. Centipede. Frogger. Uh, Donkey Kong. It's got a uh, this point blank two. It's actually waiting for the uh, track to roll. It doesn't have a thing on. This machine does not stop with the song. With the uh, off-road challenge. See over here, uh, the last row, he's got some uh, some old 10-ball games. We got the uh, Palace Guard. Here's Hurdy Gurdy. Or as a lot of people might know, Central Park. But, you know, Central Park was a 5-ball. This is a 10-ball game. So pretty much the exact same uh, play field 
and it's got the uh, little monkey that rings the bell every hundred points. So I've got Leap Subway with the little subway doors that open up every hundred points. Another game you might know is, uh, I think it's Break Shot or Bank Shot, I keep forgetting the name on uh, Pinball Hall of Fame because I don't have it on my phone, I only use it on the iPad, is uh, Pro Pool. Which, um, there is one big difference on uh, this version where there's usually, um, in the other game, there's a little gate that opens up if you get into the 8-ball hole. Uh, that's not on this, so it's a lot harder. And, uh, I had a lot of fun with this. I like this, some of the uh, godly wedge heads I really don't care for. Some that are just, you know, balls hard and they, you know, they keep you coming back for more. And he's got, you know, the usual, the toy taxi and the stuff that, you know, people just dump money into. Cause kind of back when uh, Vegas wanted to be family friendly. It seems like they're trying to do that again because I was looking at some, uh, going to New York, New York. They're uh, going to put in a, another um, Hershey Chocolate World. I guess to compete with the m and store. So, right right there is a look at the satellite location at the Riviera Hotel and uh, Casino Resort here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sure to check them out if you're uh, like me and you're waiting for the actual location to open up at 11. I'm set on New York time, so it's impossible for me to sleep to uh, try to wake up or uh, I don't gamble, so... I don't really give a crap about any of the other stuff in there, so I'm going to hang up, play some Batman. We're going to go take a video at the main location. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll talk to you later. This is Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com doing this as kind of like a bonus supplemental video because I didn't know the Treasure Island still had a video arcade. Um, it's kind of small. We used to, uh, used to have the uh, Terminator 3 pinball machine. We don't anymore, so I'll just take it through. Now they're uh, one of the... Uh, Arcades of the script. You can see how it has a Namco label on it. Even though uh, Namco arcades are still in business in America, uh, Tekken 5 DR set very hard. Hydro Thunder, two of them. I uh, haven't seen this version in a long time because most of them updated to three. Was uh, initial D version two. I haven't played uh, the second version in a very long time. God, Mr. Sega Rasa, those guys made some great games. They had a bunch of the development houses, and they're gone. Uh, 2049, San Francisco Rush. Uh, DDR Extreme doesn't look like anybody plays it. And, uh, kind of weird. It's got that, uh, weird banner on there. I guess it's kind of like a aftermarket, maybe. Uh, how's the 2 from Sega? The giant, uh, Time Crisis 3 that takes over half the arcade. Have Pocket Fox. Ooh, Pac-Man play. Look at that. Pac-Man Arcade on Twitter. Follow Pac-Man Arcade. And, of course, it doesn't have any Pac-Man toys in it. Have Convoy. Lighthouse, uh, Big Buck Hunter Pro, Fast and the Furious, and a uh, name code it's called Super Scooper, yeah, UFO Catcher. It's, uh, UFO Catcher is a lot harder than the uh, American versions. Oh, listen to that Eurobeat. So, as you can see, light gun game, driving game, driving game, driving game, dance game, light gun game, toy games, more light gun games, and racing. That's, uh, that's pretty much what American arcades have come to. There's no more innovation. You're never going to see stuff like, um, you know, more fighting games because they're all going to want to be on the home consoles. They don't really care. And, you know, it's it's a shame. I, I just miss going to the arcade. You would see something different, and it's pretty much what it's uh, become. And, you know, considering uh, DDR doesn't really uh, release many mixes, I think the last one was... Extreme versus uh, second remix, I think it was. I forget what the hell the name of it was. I remember playing. Uh, they had it at the uh, Gemini Arcade Palace. But yep, that's pretty much it here. So guys, thanks for watching. Back with more videos soon for my little trip to Las Vegas and Nevada. Talk to you later.